Hello and welcome to the Conversation Cafe. My name's Beth Turner. I'm a communication coach for young people and this is where I come to share top tips and techniques with young people just like you so that you can get really confident communicating in all sorts of everyday situations. And in this video today, I'm talking about body language. Do you know how to use body language to help you build rapport and connection in the conversations that you're having. Now, when you are communicating with someone, quite often we'd love to know if they are enjoying the conversation, whether they think it's going well and whether it's interesting to them. Can you read someone's mind to know how they feel about the conversation you're having? No, you can't. But can you read their body to give you clues as to how they're feeling about their conversation with you? Actually, yes, you can. Because two people who are in a conversation that they're both enjoying, that they are interested in, that there's good rapport and connection, they will, without even knowing, they will be mirroring each other's body language. If they're standing up, the chances are if they're having a good and enjoyable conversation, they're going to be facing each other. You might find that they are standing in the same way. If they're sitting, they might be leaning on the table with the same arm. They might be tilting their heads in exactly the same way. They're likely to be nodding and laughing at the same points in the conversation. And you know what? They won't even know they're doing it. It's a subconscious thing. When we are enjoying building rapport and connecting with someone, we will naturally copy their body language. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because if you are in a new friendship or a new relationship or a new conversation with someone and you want to just take a moment and get an idea as to how that person is feeling about the conversation that you're having, then you can do two things. You can look at your own body language very quickly and then you can look at theirs. The reason I say look at your own body language first is just do a double check. In that moment, just check, is your body language welcoming and open and friendly? Are you facing the person that you're speaking to? Are you slightly leaning forward to show that what they're saying is important to you? And have you got um, your arms unfolded and uncrossed so that the, it's a really welcoming and friendly approach. What you don't want to do is to be chatting to someone, expecting them to feel comfortable with your arms crossed in front of you. So just take a moment to check your own physical body language and to just ask yourself, am I smiling? Am I making eye contact? When you have done a little check of your own body language, just look at the person you're speaking to don't let it distract you from the conversation, but just take a look for a second. Are they copying you, roughly speaking? If they are, then the chances are there's good rapport between you, there's good connection, and you don't need to worry about the conversation. You can relax. They're enjoying themselves. If you're enjoying yourself, then let the conversation continue. But if you notice that they are not mirroring your body language, in a few different ways, then there are four things that I would recommend you can do to improve the rapport and the connection. The first thing is the volume of your voice. Just in that conversation, take a second. Are you speaking at the same volume? Because if you are speaking very quietly and the person you're speaking to is speaking very loudly and you are replying quietly, then actually they may be struggling to hear you. And so the connection will be weaker than it could do. And likewise, if they're talking about something that is quite sensitive to them and they are using a quiet voice and you are replying and booming your voice out across you know, wherever you're speaking to them, then it might make them feel a little bit uncomfortable. So the first thing you can do is to just check that the volume of your voice is the same as theirs. The second thing you can do is check that the speed of your voice is matching theirs. If they're taking their time and speaking quite slowly because they really want you to understand what they're saying and your replies come back 100 miles an hour and you're speeding through your replies, it might make them think that you are not listening properly or not interested in what they're saying. 
So just take a second to check that the speed of your voices is similar. The third thing you can do is to use some of their favorite words. So if somebody's talking to you and when they like something, they always describe it as incredible. Everything is incredible. Their dog did something incredible. They went somewhere at the weekend that was incredible. That is obviously an important word to them. So think about using it in some of your replies. If you want to talk about something that your pet did that you think is good, then use it as incredible. Because what that person will do is they will hear you use one of their favorite words and they will think, oh, you know, we're really connecting. We use the same words. We get on. There's rapport. There's connection. So volume of your voice, speed of your voice, keywords or favorite words that they use. And also just double check your physical body language. Are you facing them? Are you making eye contact? Are your arms uncrossed and your body language open? If you make subtle changes in those four areas, you will probably see the person respond. Now, I like to encourage you to use body language subtly. It's not like a game of copycat. Every time the person you're speaking to itches their nose, you itch their no your nose. If they put their hand through their hair, you touch your hair. That's just going to make them feel uncomfortable. What I want to do is suggest that you just have an awareness of body language and it can be used just for you to take a second in a conversation just to check that you are getting an indication from the person you're speaking to that they are enjoying the conversation. So my advice would be to practice it, practice mirroring the people that you are speaking to. It could be your parents, your brothers and sisters, your friends, and also watch when you're out and about. Because if you go anywhere in the playground, in coffee shops, anywhere socially, you will notice that people that seem to be getting on well and enjoying conversations between themselves are often copying the body language of the other. So use body language to your advantage. It's really simple, but it takes a little bit of practice. So that's everything that I wanted to tell you today about body language. If you've enjoyed the video, then please let somebody else know that it exists. If not, then let me know why not in the comments below and I will do what I can to help you. Thank you for visiting the Conversation Cafe. I'll see you back here soon.